today in Rue Marina up in Scotland on board Spirit of Callisto. She is a 42 foot Spirit yacht built gaff yawl launched in 2013 and we'll do a little walk around the deck here and then down below show you some of the features of this boat. Her construction is cold molded so she's a strip plank hull with Diagonal veneers, all epoxy bonded and sheathed externally, making for a very strong, light, and easily maintained boat. Here on the foredeck, her bowsprit is pivoted here with this stainless bolt so it can be lifted up very easily to reduce her overall length for mooring fees. Um, here we've got Lumol anchor windlass, has a remote, goes in here. Lumar anchor chain lock and her delta anchor self stows over the bow and the staysail you can see here is on a roller furling drum and the jib at the end of the bowsprit is on a Wick and Martin furling gear on a traveller.
these stainless steel deck fittings. And looking back here, along the teak deck, so this is yacht laid, the teak is glued over the plywood sub deck. There's no screw fastenings, so uh, no chance of water ingress. Here we've got this Lumar hatch built in with a custom fitted teak surround to make it quite subtle. Looking back along the deck, the coach roof deck constructed in the same way as the main deck, teak glued over the plywood. And then here we look back along the side decks. The combings are all mahogany with inset windows, port lights. And stainless steel stanchions here go into these sockets, as you can see here, which are set into the capping rail, and they actually double up. So you've got a winter cover on a stainless frame, which fits into these sockets, all custom made. So, chain plates, stainless steel internal chain plates, which are bolted to the plywood bulkheads inside. And it's quite a high tension rig for a gaffer but the, uh, the construction, the rigidity of the hull means that she can take it. Uh, main mast here, all her spars made by collars, custom made for the boat. Halyards here come to these pin rails, which are either one either side of the main mast and everything is led aft through these turning blocks. And we'll look at the winches in a minute. So she's very easy to handle with a small crew. Here's the varnished mahogany skylight. And then she's got tracks for the jib and the staysail sheets. So you can adjust the sheeting angle very easily. Midship's cleat and fair lead here. So the use of modern materials, so Dyneema has been used extensively in the rig. This is the span for the peak halyard. So there is a lovely bronze fitting, but with the Dyneema span, whereas traditionally that would have been wire. It's nice and soft and easy. Tufnel blocks and uh, classic braid line. Here, moving aft, looking into the cockpit. So these are the control lines. Same each side, you've got a Lumar 30 self-tailing uh, winch and you've got clutches here, jammers. So um, this is the main halyards, the peak and throat come back, various other lines. So you don't often need to go to the mast. A lot of it can be done the day-to-day Running can be done from the cockpit. See the same the other side here as well. Pan round this enormous cockpit. So she's then got a pair of Lumar 40 winches here, self tailing for the headsail sheets. And this is the running backstays for the main. Again, use of modern materials. The main stay is Dyneema with these low friction eyes. And very simple running back stay. You haven't got acres of line on a tackle. Uh, it's just through one turning block and this jammer and you can tension it up with the leeward sheet. Oh, the, the windward sheet, sorry. See this curved cockpit combing here. See as it moves aft. It starts to fall out, follow the curve round. This telltale spirit design makes it nice and comfortable with the uh, raked out combing at the aft end here. 
and helm position. So she's got a large wheel, very modern in design. This wheel's custom made, it's stainless steel spokes. And there's the laminated mahogany rim, which has actually got a carbon fiber core uh, to give it the strength. And then here's the console. So again, we varnish mahogany with your chart plotter and your instruments and the bow thrust to control. Now here's the double tailed main sheet. Got a stainless steel horse after the combing through turning blocks and onto these Lumar 16 winches. So you can sheet in either side depending on what tack you're on. Uh, mizzen shrouds, the mizzen's very simply rigged. It's just a cap, two cap shrouds either side and they are quite well spread apart. So you, there's no need for any running backstays on the mizzen. So the mizzen is a very easy sail to control. Here on this enormous aft deck, your bumpkin see for the mizzen sheet and the mizzen sheet then runs down to the mast so you can reach it from the cockpit to adjust that uh, you can see here these hatches got locking uh, locking dogs here and um, these go down into an enormous lazarette locker so used for storing the dinghy uh, spare sails fenders warps everything can go in here uh, standing in here about waist height so there's a lot of space under there and this smaller hatch here smaller locker is for the gas locker with all new gas pipe work just been replaced this year see the quality of the craftsmanship all this woodwork here again stainless steel fittings fair leads and cleats it's got Jack stays here either side, safety lines. Now looking forward. Sorry, I can skip this. Looking into the size of this cockpit. Back under the mizzen boom here and move round to the port side. And here's this rather nice custom fitting on the end of the boom, engraved with her name and the bear logo. See as we walk forward here along this port side deck. So you've got good wide decks. So with unimpeded movement around the boat. Very easy to move around when you're at sea. And we'll drop down into the cockpit here. See the cockpit sole is again laid teak over the plywood, embossed with the Spirit logo. Self draining obviously, your cockpit drains. You've got a port light here into the quarter cabin, the large quarter cabin. Uh, big locker. This side, which is um, used for storage, and the uh, life rafts are kept in here. You can see all these lockers built with good deep drain channels, uh, 
rubber gaskets to stop water ingress. And this side, you've got this little locker built in here for all your tails so you don't end up with lots of rope lying around the cockpit. Uh, instruments on this starboard side, all Raymarine, easily visible from the helm. These are repeaters from the ones down below by the chart desk. These lovely doors, companion doors, and these lift off when you're at sea and they've got custom made padded bags that they can go into to protect them so you can put them in the locker in the lazarette out the way and the owners don't sail with the uh, the doors on most of the time again all good quality fittings and features on the boat and a big wide companionway going down below here we are down below in Spirit of Callisto. See the uh, dimensions of this boat with a very generous beam. Do give her an enormous amount of space here in the cabin. So here we are looking aft to the companion hatch. So you've got steps down over the engine box. Under here is her Yanmar 55 horsepower engine. This is her quarter cabin. So this is a double quarter cabin in here. This is a good space to see the construction of the boat. So this here is the inner layer of planking. This is the Douglas first strip planking, which they built the first layer that went on upside down over the mould, over the hull, and then uh, it was veneered over the top of that and sheathed. You can see the laminated mahogany frames here and these hanging knees with the laminated deck beams. And this is the underside of the deck and you can see that's plywood. Uh, but the plywood has been reeded out, so they've routed deck lines into it to give it the feeling and the image of a, a solid laid deck, which is much nicer than just a blank, flat piece of painted ply. Nice little touches, bit of effort, and uh, shows that it's a boat from a good yard that know what they're doing. So here in the galley, this worktop here folds down. So there's the entrance obviously to your quarter cabin. This worktop folds across to give you more space. And then up out of the way with a magnet there to hold it in place. Uh, Smev cooker, gas, all new gas system, gas locker under the aft, starboard quarter, port quarter, all new gas lines this year. And got lots of lots of storage space. And in here, there's the fridge. Top loading, 12 volt, and sink here. So you've got a double sink or rather one and a half sink. And these new chopping boards on top, hot and cold pressurized water. Uh, the chlorifier which is run off the engine or the 240 if you're on shore power. Uh, another little table comes up here, just a little bit extra workspace when you're working. And here on the starboard side we've got chart desk and a quarter berth. So you see this quarter berth is very long goes right back there. Space down here, storage space, and lockers outboard and shelves. You can see these uh, rings here, two of them there. Those are the backing pads for the sheet winches, the jib sheet winches. So here we've got chart desk, 
lifts up the usual gubbins. You got chart plotter VHF. There's a repeater plotter at the helm console and instruments on deck. And here's the uh, all the master volts main switch panel, master volt battery monitors and batteries. Control here for the um, Robasto diesel heater. Into the main saloon. So here, we've got this U-shaped seating on the port side. Table folds out. And you got space here as well. Here you can see your breakers, DC breakers, windless, and all your main batteries. Battery isolator switches. Here, yeah, more storage units. You see the quality of this joinery. Very nice, typical of Spirit yachts. And again, construction of the boat. Laminated frames and deck beams. See this forward saloon bulkhead here, and rather than just being a flat panel. The joinery is being constructed very nicely, which breaks it up to the eye, just gives her a much nicer feel rather than flat blank bits of timber. Starboard side here, these very comfortable seats. And your whiskey or your gin glasses. Again, more, more lockers here. Plenty of storage space. These seats are extremely comfortable. Especially of an evening at anchor here in the Highlands. Here's the skylight above, gives a lot of light here into the saloon. Uh, main mast is a collars, hollow collar spar, which is keel stepped. Uh, moving forward here on the starboard side, you've got a uh, big hanging locker for oil skins and so on. And heads compartment. So there's the Jabsco manual sea toilet. She has a black waste tank, so you can either go straight overboard or into the tank. And the tap here, hot and cold pressurised water, this pulls out as a shower. And the tray, this teak sole to the heads, is, uh, acts as a shower tray and that drains into a sump tank. And there's a switch you press to uh, pump overboard. Then here into the forepeak. Twin four cabin. Again, the construction of the boat very clear to see all the way through. And this reeded plywood deckhead following the yacht laid curve of the teak deck externally. Again, more storage space. And here's the fore hatch. It's actually got this line on it because the four hatch is, uh, has got gas rams on to hold it open. So this line's there to, uh, to pull it shut if you're down below and want to close the hatch. Again here you can see lovely timber that's been used in construction of all the joinery. Moving back aft. Up above here, you've got handrails for moving back through the boat when you're at sea. And 
big vertical grab rail here as well. See how much light and space there is in this boat. Very, very comfortable. And moving back aft and then back on deck. Thank you.